What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you all how to change the transmission slash differential fluid in my 2010 Porsche Cayman. I've noticed a little bit of notchiness in my uh, shifter. My car has about 67,000 miles. So hopefully uh, changing the transmission fluid, which is probably way overdue, hopefully that'll uh, help it out and smoothen things out a little bit. Should be pretty straightforward. Uh, basically, going to lift the car up on the jack stands, both front and back. Make sure it's perfectly even. Then you have to undo the uh, transmission skid plate, as well as the two diagonal support braces um, on the underneath of the car. The plate covers the uh, transmission drain plug. So once I do that, I'm going to undo the drain plug. After undoing the fill plug, that is very important because otherwise if you drain your transmission fluid and then you can't get the drain, uh, fill plug open, you're kind of best of well. So undo the fill plug, undo the drain plug, let the uh, fluid drain out, put the plugs back in, torque them to, I think the manual says, gives a pretty high um, torque, but the oil is quite a bit thicker, so I think about 18 pound-feet is about all you need and if it leaks you can always tighten it more. There's no washer on these bolts um, so you shouldn't need any uh, replacement washers. I'm using Redline 75 W90 NS for the uh, my car has uh, no limited slip differential so um, you don't need the limited slip additives that come in the regular non-NS versions of the Redline transmission fluid. After the fluid from the transmission is uh, all done draining, I'm going to put the drain plug back in, fill up the transmission um, with fluid. It takes about, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> takes just under uh, three quarts, I believe. So I bought three quarts and you basically just pump it. You can use a hand pump, you can use a automated pump, whatever you got. Um, but you're not going to be able to just pour it in through a funnel. You're going to have to pump it in. So I'm just going to basically pump all the bottles in until fluids just starts to drain out of the fill plug. And then should be able to tighten up the fill plug and uh, put the car back down. Should... Once I'm done, I'll bolt up the side braces as well as the transmission uh, skid plate. Can't really find uh, proper torque values for the skid plate but the angle braces it's about 48 foot-pounds. Um, in the manuals some of them say the, um, the bolts on the furthest uh, outsides of the vehicle that bolts up to the body of the car it's supposed to be 81 foot-pounds but a lot of people had problems I think they changed um, the bolt as well as the torque spec um, during certain years so I think it'll probably be alright at 48 pound feet I'm not gonna fuck with it um, and risk damaging anything so 48 should be enough and I'll probably uh, just tighten up the uh, transmission skid plate to uh, guten tight so let's get to it what you're gonna need in order to change your uh, transmission fluid is you're going to need a torque wrench, a uh, half inch ratchet and a three eighths ratchet, uh, a couple extensions, a 15 millimeter socket, a 16 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter hex if you have a 987.2. Uh, both the drain plug and the fill plug are 10 millimeter hexes. Uh, if you have a 9871, uh, I think it's a little different. If you're drilling a hole in your transmission skid plate, you're going to need a drill and a hole saw. I drilled a two inch hole in the skid plate. Um, and as you'll see later, I have a two inch plastic cap that goes in the newly drilled hole. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is remove the uh, skid plate. Right here we've got a uh, uh, two 16 millimeter bolts right here. And these two bolts right here are both 
15. We need to remove the side pieces, side arms. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five bolts on each one, they're all 16 millimeter. Uh, basically, I'm going to undo the bar and then uh, drop the plate. Let's do it. Yeah, this bolt right here, uh, in the book it says, or in the Porsche uh, manual it says these are 81 foot-pounds, but these changed bolt sizes uh, at different years, so this one I believe it felt like 48 foot-pounds, so I'm going to stick with that. Washer on it. trips. Uh, go ahead and close it up and then pump some new oil. Here's my fluid, Redline 75W90 and S. Three um, quartz. 
the stuff. There's my fluid pump. Basically just gonna put the pump into the bottle and pump it like it's a uh, lotion. So for those of you who are um, wanting to cut a hole in the transmission skid plate, um, might as well. While I have it off the car, I was considering whether or not I should do it. Uh, probably will, just so it's not a pain in the ass to change fluid again. Um, so if this is the rear of the car, this end. This is towards the front of the car. The transmission drain bolt is about right here. Uh, again, it's closer towards the uh, driver's side. So I'll probably just get a hole saw, um, drill a hole about an inch from this other center hole. And that should give me enough room, probably use like a two inch hole saw. Should give me enough room to uh, have access to the drain plug. Alright, so here's my plate all marked up. Um, the drain plug's about here, so I got it about, I have a two inch hole that I'm going to cut. It's all aluminum, so it should be pretty uh, easy to cut through. Um, I have this plastic plate. I got this from like Ace Hardware. Um, should just be able to pop it in there that way. Uh, I don't know. Keep uh, keep the tranny a little cleaner. Um, not have a giant hole in the in the plate. So yeah, just gonna cut it. Have that little cover go right there so my two inch plastic cap that I got from Ace Hardware. Uh, it's probably like 50 cents or something. Uh, but if you can see it right here, pops right into place. Probably kind of hard to see. But I've got, uh, left a little bit of a gap. This is from the, uh, that center hole. And so I drilled my drilled this hole an inch from that stock center hole. But this way I have a little gap. I can pop pop the cap off. Kind of. Just like that. Cool, huh?
back. So, again, I just want to show this my fill hole plate. Here you can see it with uh, the cap. Uh, you can see there's a little gap right here for me to pop it out. Popped out. And again, you can see the whole drain plug is right there, right in the center. There's not going anywhere. So that is it for uh, changing your transmission fluid. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, all you have to do is just get access to the bolts, or sorry, the drain plug. Uh, undo your fill plug, undo your drain plug, drain the fluid, um, put it all back together. Hopefully it'll be a lot quicker now that I cut a hole in my skid plate, which gives me easy access to my uh, drain plug so yeah I'm gonna take it for a spin hopefully nothing leaks if it does just tighten your uh, drain plug a little bit tighter I think 18 foot-pounds should be more than enough um, so yeah that's it guys peace